Alright, folks, I'm going to, um, in a second here, have it looks like uh, Wolf Sniper going to join me. He's going to uh, hopefully help me out a little bit. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, you're going to see a link pop up on the screen on the left there in a second. And uh, there's a link to my Discord where you can find out where I am streaming next. And uh, if I'm streaming and I've got the ability to, um, then I will be able to invite you in and join me. Help me out a little, maybe give me some pointers that you know of. Uh, help each other out. If you've got questions, you can ask there. There were a bunch of people there who know a lot of stuff about Factorio. Uh, but I hope to see some more people around. Okay, so right, what do we need? All the boxes. There's half the boxes of each colour. All the robos, all the beacons. And a stack of each of those, and then all those. And then that stack. Wait, I put them all back, I did. All those in there. In there. And in there. Okay. Let's see what else I need. I'll come back, all sniper. Not only the mods, do you mean that one mod? Let's go science is the only mod I'm running. Okay, and a lot of beacons. Get all those. Whoopsie. Get my fish. Uh, okay, so this just needs basically a thousand speed modules and six hundred productivity modules. Ooh, that's module heavy. Uh, probably gonna connect this up. Let's transition there. So let's go up here. And then somewhere over here. Let's find out where this is gonna join. Round network. Just quite a wee bit away. Uh, water path. The more personal robots you have, the more robots you can use. Right, correct. Uh, let's go with those. Go with robots. Well, there you go, it's full sniper joining the map. Are you in the Discord yet? You're not on the Discord yet. Okay. Now he's in there. Hello, hello. Hello, how's it going? Yeah, I'm doing well. Alright, you go. Yeah, pretty good, but pretty good. Alrighty. Sorry if my mic keeps annoying, I've got a weird microphone setup. That's okay, it sounds like you're in a little bit of wind tunnel, but it's not too bad. It's, uh, it's manageable. Oh yeah, that happens. Mics are a bit tricky sometimes. Yeah. So when you spawn in, if you head over to the mall, which is to your right, you should find a power armor uh, setup station there. You gotta set yourself up for however you want to be set up. Whether it's uh, for military or for defense or for outposting, however you choose. 
Fighters 2 with a beating in each other, okay? Uh, I'm happy with whatever, man. You, you like doing one thing over another? Go for it. Not too, I'm not too picky about things. Main thing I'm working on at the moment is uh, uh, I need outposting done pretty badly. Um, oh, yeah. That all the supplies are coming in. Uh, if you get bored of doing that, you can head out pretty much in any direction and go uh, kill some biters. Uh, there is actually an artillery train over on the um, eastern flank, which uh, yeah, it does have some uh, artillery shells in it at the moment. Yeah. It's got quite a decent range. <laughs> Fire off all the artillery shells before you get in. <laughs> Always fun watching the uh, artillery shells go out and then the biters flooding in to try to kill you. It's always good fun. Okay. Um, need another stacker and I need to remove all that again. This is my stickers. It says you're catching up, but uh, yeah, I'll give you a hand. I'll, I'll pause. I'll pause. I'll speed it up for you. Well, whereabouts in this world are you connecting from? Uh, Perth, Australia. Ah, another Aussie. I clocked that twenty minutes ago. Nice. Yeah, I'm up in Canada. It's uh, 20 past 10 at night. Uh, army 22 degrees. Uh, so every now and then you'll hear my fan hitting my mic and it's, uh, <laughs> it annoys me more than probably everyone else. But uh, yeah. Alright, looks like you're in. Okay, I'm warning you now, I have pretty bad internet to my back here. That's all good. It's all good. Alright, let's off. Road report, there we go. Uh, so yeah, you'll find uh, down the slightly southeast of you, down in that marker, you'll find all the, uh, the, what do you call it? Power armor stuff, that's the thing. Where do I believe my car is? Hmm, I didn't put myself in a rail.
Okay. I think I'm lost. I have no idea where I am. Uh, where are you? Let's see. Uh, yep, go straight north. Just a couple of tiles. There you go. Power armor. If you take it from the assemblers, you won't uh, flood the system. So take everything from the assemblers if you need more, grab it from a box. But you should have every item that you could possibly desire. Uh, sitting right there. Got multiple uh, fusion reactors. Yeah, that should that should uh, suffice your needs for whatever power armor you like to make, have and run. I'm basically just gonna do the same tutorial I have, but on my thing. Yeah. It's all good, however you like it. Like everyone likes a different slightly different power armor makeup. Now this is what's in front like confusing me. If you have multiple exosuits, do you move faster? Yes. I didn't know that actually. They, they it is a stacking bonus on the exoskeleton legs. Uh. Pretty badass. Uh this suit I'm running at the moment is my construction suit. I've got two legs. Uh Two, four, six, seven robo ports, but I also have another suit in uh, my inventory, which is five legs, uh, two shields, two personal laser defense. So it's sort of whatever I'm doing at the time, that's uh, the suit I wear. If I had to go out and kill some things, then uh, I'm equipped. And if I'm building, then I'm more than equipped for building. Alright, that's the output lanes. Uh, do I still have my train cars as well? Uh, yeah, right now the base is in the transitioning stage into it's pretty much pre mega base. So uh, its main goal of the entire base is is a little bit of science, but mostly it's building modules. Modules, uh, electric furnaces, beacons, that's pretty much its only goal. Uh, because the faster it can build those, the faster the outposting out uh, and the other buildings can uh, grow up. What about the personal laser defense and the energy shield? Do they stack? Yep. Um, uh -huh. Yep, absolutely they do. Alright. My car across. God. What's up? Alright then. I have never, like, truly realised how big your whole compound is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when you're looking at us on stream, you're like, oh, okay, it's, it's good size, you know? What's, what's, you know, some people are like, oh, what's he complaining about? Why does he need five uh, exoskeleton legs? And then uh, you get into this thing, and you're like, "Oh, that's zooming out. Oh, that. Oh, you keep. Oh, you just keep scrolling." <laughs> and right now, I just say, hmm? "Hey, just got the biggest uranium pile, but it's on an island." Oh, what do you mean by that? You have a massive uranium pile, but it's on an island. Is that out there? Is that point nine mil. Yeah, over yeah, it's a good size. I, I mean, I probably won't need it, but if I do, it's not too bad. 
Um, there's a smaller size but bigger yield way down in Bider territory, 16 mil. And then there's what, one, two, three, four, the starter one, five, five more uranium patches that I've uncovered so far. And I know there's a lot more out there. But uh, yeah, that's. I thought it was pretty funny that there was this one giant uranium patch um, sitting in the, uh, sitting off on the island. Yeah. And I just ran myself over with my car. Nearly killed me. I thought, you know, I'm gonna just. <laughs> I jumped out of my car and then I thought, oh, I'll just see if it, you know, what it will do. And uh, yeah, yeah, nearly killed. Uh, what military stuff do you want? You can request it, uh, the bots will bring you most of it, but uh, what military stuff are you looking for? Like weapons and stuff. Um, so, running off this mall, there's not very many things like that, but if you request, you should get most things. Um, I did a little tack on build a while back and I built a whole bunch of stuff. Um, let's all check. There's SMGs, uh, at least one in the Robo Network, there's at least one rocket launcher, there's nukes by at least 30, there's at least 500 uranium ammo. Uh, so you should have fun. Uh, that's not gonna work. No, that won't work. Okay, do it the other way. And move. I found a really good strategy because you know how um what is it the gun turrets they don't actually need power to fire. Yep. If you take like three of them with you with uranium bullets mm -hmm. and you just set them up behind you and you go and attack them and bring them back, they'll get all wiped out and all you gotta do is pepper grenades or something at the bases. Mm hmm. It can be uh, beneficial for sure. I um right now at this point in the game, the bases don't really have much much say. Uh, they die pretty quickly. Um, between the nukes, the artillery barrage behind it, and then um, uh, running in with uh, personal laser defenses. Yeah, they don't. They don't. Uh, <laughs> they don't stand uh, much of a chance. My problem is, I think that's too far away. We'll see how that works. Uh, Where I am now, do you want me to start upgrading some of the assemblers to the yellow version? Uh, it's not needed. It can be done. No. Um. How many have we got of the level threes? Got about seven hundred of them. Because they, where you, where you are right now, it's the mall, um, and they just the design of the mall is just to plod along, slowly build things when when it's got the resources available. The problem is right now the base is starved on iron ore, and which is lacking the iron plate, which is lacking steel. It, it's all just lacking, mostly around the iron side of things. Um, so once I have more supply of iron ore, um, then the uh, the whole entire base will just grow faster, and the more will make everything that it needs to there. Um, the uh, biggest yeah, biggest thing. Yeah. It's like nothing. <laughs> it's like even copper is low, um, just because of the way I've got uh, things prioritized. But like green circuits down here on that marker, just getting no iron at all. Um, so that's why there's just no green circuits. It's, it's lacking. There's trains coming, but uh, the far and few between. There's only one train going to the base for iron ore. Uh, copper ore has two and a half. Why is there a manual train? What's that train even doing? 
Oh, I, I filled a copper train with pla <laughs> a plate. <laughs> Whoops, iron plate. There we go, clear that off. Uh, so yeah, it's just a lack of supply. Uh, but the whole idea is the entire smelter array there is going to get removed uh, and replaced by the giant mega ones to the north. Uh, so the mega iron up north, mega coppers up north, and then the mega uh, steel is where I am. Which is what I'm building up at the moment. Uh, so yeah, everything's going to get get replaced uh, by its new counterpart, by its uh, by the mega version of them. Uh, do I have a standard power bulb? I do. That didn't work. And no signals. I can't remember how big this train's supposed to be. I only wanted a 2 for 2 and I think I built this too big. Uh, 